Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. In this video, what I'm doing is um, I've just created a, a nice little loop here and um, really want to focus here on the drums mostly. Um, so I put this together in you know under 30 minutes. It's uh, just a loop. Um, I use a lot of different drum kits to create this, uh, this rhythmic pattern. Um, as you can see here, all the drum kits on the left hand side of the screen that I actually used for this, um, this track. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just play the song to start off with, and then we'll kind of go through um, each one of the tracks so you can have a better understanding how I, I put this together. So this is what it sounds like right now. That's what it sounds like right now. And so starting off, I'm just going to solo these one at a time. It's just one note, dead smack in the center of the grid. Okay. Just two taps, tap, tap. That's it. Our kick drum. Just a straight one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Wood block. Tap, tap, tap. With a little bit of um, uh, a, a reverb on there. Uh, just some hand claps. Two and four. So it's on two and four. Dry, no effects. Now this is another type of a hand clap, slightly offset from the, the top hand clap. As you can see, it's not exactly lined up, it's a little off, but that's how I wanted it to sound. So it just gives more groove to it. Now this is a reverse hand clap, um, and it's also slightly off just a little bit, okay? As you can see here. But I wanted it to be off because I wanted to give um, the hand claps a different sound more than just a regular hand clap. And you can achieve that by doing exactly what I've done here, just taking different sounds or different samples of hand claps and layering them on top of each other or moving them slightly to the right or to the left and that'll change your sound and it'll sound pretty cool. So next one is just a straight tap, 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 nothing special about it. So this is just one sound here, let's see if I can find it, where's it at? And I think it's okay, but I think it's a little too loud, so I'm just going to turn it down some. I don't want it to be that loud. Yeah, probably right about there would be good. Okay. And the next track is um, it comes from the Deep House kit, and it's just a really dry sound, um, but it's it's EQ'd. Um, so it's very clear, so very pristine. The, um, the next track comes, um, is a shaker from the Ghost Town kit and it's got some compression, a tape delay, um, it's got some reverb and a limiter on it too. So when you hear it, it only plays once but because it has the effects on it, it carries out a little bit further past um, the actual sound. So when it goes along with the, all the other instruments, it sounds pretty nice. So a little difficult to explain, but I, I think you know what I'm saying. So this is just a dry um, tap, tap from the Hip Hop Tech Kit. Okay. A hand clap again. And it's a different type of a hand clap, and it's just on um, three and four. Okay. 
Now you got like a, a wood block there, compression, um, EQ limiter, and you got some reverb on there. So, and I also quantize it to a 16F swing, um, which changes up the rhythm for it, uh, puts a little more feeling, a little more groove into your song. Um, so that's that. Then I have the, um, the bass, it's called Attitude Bass, Compression and Channel EQ. You can see the bass pattern here for the, the bass line. And then just to give it um, a little bit more of a seriousness, I added in another kick sound with some um, some reverb on here, some delay, some EQ, and I uh, only put it in there in two places, so um, just to give a little more feeling. So anyway, moving on to the next track, it's just one note, and I shortened it. You can see here, and it's got a stereo delay on it, compression limiter, and chorus. Okay? And then the last one. Now these two are meant to play together. So. And you can see the design. And all the notes are short here as well. And a stereo delay on that. So now I'm going to play them all together. my video thanks for subscribing and stay tuned for more great tutorials from dance music tutorials